Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookandmommy.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And today is another episode of M Scrap Busters. And today's challenge is um, get some cardstock together that is two and a half inches square. So I had um, some bigger off-cut sheets of cardstock and I just used my trimmer and trimmed them down to two and a half inches by two and a half inches so that's what I've got here I've got quite a few because I want to make something out of these and have them um, available in our new kit that we are trying to get together um, it was supposed to come out this month in October of 2022 and um, things happen and just couldn't get that together and I know all y'all understand because you know our circumstances right now. So anyway, we plan on having the new kit. It's called Vintage Notions Kit. We plan to have that available in the shop uh, November the 1st and um, it's just going to be listed on the website. There's no subscription to it anything like that Just first come first serve uh, No two kits will be identical and all the kits will have uh, Basic journal making items in it, but they will also have handmade items from me and mom in them too so a very unique kit a very vintage style kit and um, there'll only be 30 or so of them available uh, this first month November 2022 so um, make sure to mark your calendars put you an alert on your phone <laughs> um, for that November 1st date we'll try to have them up the morning of that day so what I am going to do with these little two and a half inch nuggets is I want torn backgrounds on them I'm also going to stamp um, a little bit of wording on there after I get my background put on them and then I'm going to do a little bit of inking, whether it be a splatter or just kind of dipping it in some ink. I've got an acrylic block sitting here that's got some dried um, rusty hinge on it. And I'm going to get my water bottle and reactivate that. This was the oxide ink that I had on that block. So I'm just reactivating it with plain old water. And then let's see here we're going to get some different papers and tear because that's the main thing I want on these backgrounds is um, torn torn background and I want them to be strips Ooh, that's pretty paper. So I'm just tearing them in kind of like three-fourths to one-inch strips. Kind of like so. And just using everything that I've got. I don't um, care what colors I'm picking up because I will mold them into the colors that I want them to be eventually and be all vintage looking no matter what um, color I use on the background so strips of torn paper you'll need that you'll need your two and a half inch squares okay you don't have to ink any of this first so just start tearing and have fun get some aggressions out I have plenty to get out so I like that part of the project and 
then um, like I said the stamp and I'll get my ink out for that in a minute uh, let's see and what else your whatever paint or ink that you want to splatter or rub on and then you'll need some kind of little die cut and I've got two packs of snippet die cuts from Tim Holtz they've got little small icons die cuts to put on there so that's what I'm using so we're gonna make little bitty works of art on a two and a half by two and a half inch palette uh, I'm gonna use gathered twigs as my distress ink around the edges so we've got plenty of paper started here and I'm just gonna pick out a few figure out how I want it on here I want it like that so you can see the torn edge and then I'm gonna find me a big piece to put in the middle so I'm going to put that in the background that on this side and then on this side so that's how I want to work it where I just have like three different colors on the background so let's go ahead I'm just gonna I think I'm going to just use glue stick as my adhesive <clears throat> y'all know me if you've seen me work on collaging and backgrounds and stuff before I like starting with a glue stick and then I get aggravated at the glue stick <laughs> and then I go to something else so we shall see how long this lasts so I'm going to move that over that is a good thing about glue stick you have some time to move your stuff around before it's just permanently all on there and I need to find me an old magazine or something to glue before I do it on here and get it all over my messy mat then I'll have sticky everywhere all right, and then I'm going to get my sticky scissors out. Those are pretty colors for another one. The back sides of all of those. And then any of the itty bitty little scraps, of course, toss them. But then you can use other things too. And by the time I get down to the last of these, of course, uh, I might not have full um, strips, so the little shorter strips I'm going to divide over here, put the longer ones there. Uh, for this one, uh, all of them I'm going to round my corners, so I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to just do one here and show you. Okay, so we've got that nice little background going and then I'm going to dip it goodness she hears something in that rusty hinge ink that's there on my acrylic block she might have heard me knocking that she has very sensitive ears that Lila Okay. might not look like much right now but when it dries you'll be able to see that I'm going to get my tarnish brass and put a couple of speckles on there give it a little bit more interest okay and then even some white if you want to like get some white gesso and go around the edges if you wanted to do that you could get you some glamour paste we have this try to keep this stocked um, we don't keep a lot of them because we don't want them to dry out while they're sitting on our 
um, shelves. So unlike the big brand stores, we buy in little quantities first to see how things will sell. And then if they're popular, of course, we restock them in bigger quantities. But like that gives a great little look, that glamour paste. That's the gold. We also carry it in black. I need to get some of the black. Okay. So there's our little work of art started. And I'll wipe that off on that acrylic block and we can get that on some more in the future if we want to. So that's how we're starting this. It's kind of a mindless, nice little mindless <laughs> project, and y'all know I have needed that here lately. Um, we also have some uh, book page strips, little edges, if we want to put any of that on there. Um, you're going to want all of your splatter that you put on to dry before you put any stamping on. Now this is that uh, fairy hug stamp that we have in the shop and has been very popular. We don't really even need a block for this. I'm just going to, on the lighter part here, put a little bit of ink. And I'm using the Black Onyx Versamark and just inking up the corner of that and getting a little bit of wording on there that's it and we'll just leave the stamp like that until we're finished with all of our little pieces and if you want to you can use um, your heat tool to get that hurry that little process up a little bit if you want to do that I think what I'm going to do is just Put on a few more strips with y'all and then I will go off camera and finish covering up the rest of mine and then we'll come back and I'll show you what we're going to do to the middles but I love that already making something out of nothing y'all know that that is my part of my or one of my mottos around here making something out of nothing I love it that is my jam to do that. And I see that I've got a mess started. Um, you could also go ahead and put your papers into some of this ink so that it's already pulling it up. And since I've spilled some of my ink, I'll go ahead and do that with a few of them and sop that up real good and then put my block back um, I'm thinking I will put a little bit of gathered twig on this too why not let's just kind of there we go mix her up just a little bit that was gathered twig and a little bit more water and Put a book page edge through there. I love that. And you could already, you know, have some of your papers going with that stuff and drying before you add them on to your little two and a half inch pieces. So let's cover up another one. I like that paper. And that one, this one might have to have four pieces. Yep, that's a nice one. I like those colors. So let's get that glued on. Let me get this old free <laughs> dictionary. Uh, that I had gotten from the local library and get that 
and use as my gluing foundation. There we go. And just start with your bottom pieces first. And then kind of go over the edges of the other two just to make sure that your top pieces stick well. Yeah, I like that. And then I'll just go in with some liquid glue to make sure that the other pieces, the edges, stay on there well and then pick that up off of the dictionary page and get my sticky scissors cut off the excess okay and then a little bitty piece is gone and then that's a little extra piece there you're going to get nice and gluey with this project so be prepared and then get my corner rounder round my corners okay and then I'm going to dip okay and then splatter and then that tarnished brass that's what I'm splattering with here will kind of Get in and activate with that that we just dipped in too so we've made a pretty good muddy background for that one but like I said the tattered um, the tarnished brass is kind of activating a little bit more in that too and then when that gets dry I want to do some gathered twig oxide around the edges like that but I gotta let everything dry okay so that is what I'm gonna do with all of the rest of these so when you come back and see when I come back you're still watching you won't even know that I've went away and done I don't know how many hours <laughs> of uh, covering up little two and a half by two and a half inch pieces and let them dry and uh, got them ready to do a stamp on every one of them. So that's the step I will come back and show you when I have gotten all of them um, covered up and inked. And then I'm about ready to start stamping and adding glamour paste or whatever else I want to put around the edges. And then we'll finish them off with some focal points in the middle. So here are 12 of the little two and a half by two and a half squares that I have all covered and inked. I even inked around the edges with my gathered twig oxide ink. And now I want to do a little bit of stamping, which some of my um, glamour paste might still be a little wet, but I think we'll be all right. So I'm just gonna grab the edge of that stamp again just pulling back the plastic on it don't even have to put it on an acrylic block if you don't want to and I'm just gonna do a little bit of stamping and I'm keeping it trying to keep it um, out of all of the center because we'll be doing something else in the center of these and just wherever you think it needs some extra something something that's where you'll stamp okay I'm gonna put these four that I 
I've stamped on over here to the edge so that I have more room to work with these remaining ones. Okay, and this is just giving your little piece of artwork a little extra something something. A little more show before you finish it. And if you don't have a stamp, you don't even have to do this step if you don't want to. But I think it just adds quite a bit of interest. Now this one, this is the one, uh, or one of the ones that got really, really soaked in ink. So it's kind of still pliable and it's covered <laughs> really well. So I need to bring out a little bit more in that one since it's so dark. So I stamped a little extra on that one. And I think I'm going to do a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other side on that one. And then see all that space there I think needs a little something something. So there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to um, take away... The mat and we'll get down to adding the finishing touches on these I hope you have enjoyed this M scrap busters challenge uh, I know I have been away for a while um, what was it two weeks three weeks that I missed and I know that y'all can tell that I'm not, I'm still not 100% back <laughs> as far as uh, joy. My joy is still not all there, y'all, and that will take a while to get back to 100%, I'm sure, because I still have that guilt factor going on with my grief. It's just like, I feel so guilty to be happy. <laughs> Ain't that just goofy? We do some of the most cruel and strange things to ourselves when we're grieving. It's just, it's just mean. Everybody else around us is so nice and generous and helpful and, you know, loving, compassionate. And we're so mean to ourselves when we grieve. We gotta stop that. I've gotta stop that. Oh me. Uh anyway, with these, if you wanted to cover up more, you could make, you know, you could put bigger die cuts in the middles of them if you want to. You could put more lace on them. But I love how they look as is. So I'm really thinking that these small little die cuts that you can get out of the snippet packs are going to be ideal for these and maybe I like how that goes along with that maybe we'll do a um, little word label too to finish them off I think that will be fantastic so I'm just kind of picking out what I think would go nicely on these and we'll see I don't think I like that one at all on any of them. Oh, I see a little bit bigger of a butterfly. I might could put on that dark one. Mm, I thought I was going to get through this one without, without tears, but that one, that snuck up on me. Oh, I don't know what. We can make a little scene with these die cuts. Have the flower and the butterfly on top of the flower. I like that. Okay. A few more. How about something that's not even just die cut shape? How about something that's just like that? Do I want to cover up? Okay, so this one doesn't have too much going on in the middle. Do I like that? Do I not like that? Nah, I don't like that. It's too big. All right, let's go to the other snippet ensemble pack. 
when somebody orders this and we're pulling orders in the shop I always <laughs> make an accent when I go to pull this pack of die cuts it's the Tim Holtz Snippets Ensemble <laughs> and I got that from some show I don't know I like how that rose kind of goes along with that one so let's keep that there I love this little clock right here I like it right there do a little word label later that's a bigger butterfly that could possibly go there with a word label there that butterfly is just too tiny I think so let's put that one off to the side here I like this little red stamp piece maybe that on here somewhere maybe on this dark spot I like that uh, oh that's nice especially if it was on a darker one. Oh yeah I like that and then let's get out a few more Okay, too big, too big, too big, too big, too big, too big. I like that. That's been in, a, in quite a few of his little snippet packets. Or something very similar to it anyway. I see a bigger butterfly here. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty. And then this little postcard right here is cute. If I can drag it out of there. It is darker, but I think it would be cute right there. What you think? What you think? And then this little red thing here. Oh, that goes well with that. I like that. And then do we need any more? Are we all covered? We're covered. We got die cuts on all of them. Woohoo! Um, and even if you don't have packs of die cuts already cut out, um, if you have a digital that has some little icons on it, you can fussy cut those out and have those for your little focal points. And let's get that back in there and put those away. And then we're going to ink around the edges of these little things and then pick out some word labels. All right, so those little die cuts are inked and glued on. And then I just got out. These are also scraps. I'm just waiting for the right moment to use some of this stuff. And I think that this is just the right time to start. I love that one. And then I need to clip off that little piece that I left off at the bottom and they don't have to be some word that means something wonderfully I don't know affirming to you just put it on there um, how about two Because especially if you've got these sitting around and you're trying to use them up, you might as well just use it up. So I'm going to go there and put never 
ordinary. Add a little slant. See, look at that little work of art there on a tiny little scale. <laughs> this is a good one. This is a really good one for me. Stronger than yesterday. I sure am. Praise the Lord. Let's see, where do I want to put this one? I think I want to clip it and put part of it in one spot and part of it in another spot. I like the look of that. Stronger than yesterday. Amen. Okay, there and there. And there's that one. And there's that one. That's more the more plain one. But, you know, whomever gets that might like a little bit more plain going on. Um, let's see. Creativity takes courage. I'm going to do creativity. And then takes courage. Cute. How easy are these? The thing that takes the longest is the dry time. You got to let it dry in between steps. But other than that, this is an easy, quick project. Uh, never doubt your instinct. Cute. I love the placement of that. See possibility everywhere. Put that one on this one that's got the plane on it. And for anybody that says, oh, you're covering up too much, nah. You gotta have layers. You gotta have layers in everything you do. You gotta have layers. Um, one thing I have been doing since all of this happened. Um, oh, I like this one. Live gently upon this earth. Is I have been watching because I've been having a really, really hard time going to sleep. And I had ins insomnia before my daddy passed. And now it is raging. But one thing I have found that has helped me is I found the app Pluto TV. And if you don't know what that is, you need to get it. If you have a smart TV, you need to get Pluto TV. Or you can put it on your tablet, your phone, whatever. And it has some of the best classic TV. And it's over 100 channels. All kinds of classic TV. Game shows. You got comedy. You got drama. There's Matlock. Andy Griffith Show. Dick Van Dyke Show. The Beverly Hillbillies. Um, all kinds of classic TV. And classic game shows. Password. Pyramid. Um, all kinds of stuff like that. And then it has westerns on it. It's just a wonderful app that I found. Mom was needing to uh, have some kind of mindless something or another on TV. <clears throat> she loves the Andy Griffith show and she loves westerns because Daddy loved westerns. And um, I found that out. I did some research, found that. And it's just like regular old TV used to be where it has commercials. You have to watch the commercials. There is no pausing Pluto TV while you're watching it. There's no recording Pluto TV shows. It's just like a regular old TV used to be. And um, so anyway, I found that and she put it on her TV. We put it on our TV and it's been all we've been watching. But m one of my favorite things to watch at night, this one lived gently upon this earth. One thing I've been watching at night that has really helped me to go to sleep is Bob Ross. There is a Bob Ross channel. So if anybody does not know who Bob Ross is, do your research. You've got to go watch Bob Ross. He is a painter. He is a beautiful artist. And everything that he does is magnificent. 
um, lovely landscape artist and he has the most gentle he was doing ASMR before ASMR was even popular and known what it was he he was ASMR before ASMR was cool and I absolutely love watching that channel and it's just his video his painting videos over and over and over and over just one right after another just like the Andy Griffith show channel is the Andy Griffith show one right after another one episode right after another there's even an Adams family channel there is a happy days channel it's it's crazy good Pluto TV if you don't have that app you need to get it and um, anyway I have been falling asleep to Bob Ross <laughs> lately and he that has really helped me in getting to sleep I'm not one that wants to uh, take medication I am NOT on any medication prescription medication period at all none and I'm 46 almost 47 years old and um, I've been told I need to be on some kind of sleep medication, but I just, I refuse. I'm stubborn like that. So I try my best to find something natural <laughs> to put me to sleep. So I take melatonin at night. Sometimes I'll take a Benadryl. I know that's not natural, but I'll, I'll, I'll try that every once in a while if it's a really, really rough night. But like last night, it was three o'clock this morning before I could actually fall asleep. So... Bob Ross has been helping quite a bit with that. And even, you know, Andy Griffith or Matt Locker, Murder, She Wrote, or something like that, just playing on my TV or on my phone right beside me, and I put a timer on, and it'll go off after a while, and that's really helped me. There is nothing like a dream to create the future. Ain't that the truth? I love that one. Uh, trust your crazy ideas. I really like that one. I'm going to put it right down here at the bottom. All one piece. And if your little palettes of art warp a little bit, just manipulate them. It's fine. And then, let's see. Cultivate kindness. Cute. And then one more. Let's see here. Ooh, I like this one. Choose to see the good. And I'm going to choose to and then see. I'm going to clip that one. Let it be its own little entity there. Choose to see the good and have like a little three layer of that word label. Cute. All right, so there's 12 done. I will finish the rest off camera because my video would be two hours long if I didn't. So nobody wants that. I enjoyed this little project and um, I feel like that needs something else. Oh, sweet. Positive. Come what may. <laughs> How awesome is that? Love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little two and a half by two and a half masterpiece class. <laughs> Um, these will be going in um, the boxes of the new kits that we're starting at scrapbookingwithme.com. If you've not shopped with us, we have quite a bit of new stuff put into our clearance album, getting ready for some new stuff, some new holiday stuff coming. So be sure to check that out. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave me a comment in the um, section below. And I have links and things 
in my description box below this video so um, be sure to check that out before you ask questions because I might have already answered the question in a link or um, something in that description box y'all have a great day I'll see you in the next video love you guys God bless bye y'all